Hello everybody. If we talk about some words, can you guess what I'm going to talk about today? Obligation, prohibition, possibility, advice, ability, and sometimes it's related to skills and your, uh, what can I say, your expression. And sometimes it can be related to some uh, words related to can, could, may, might, shall, should, would, hope you understood. Yes, I'm going to talk about some words related to modal verbs. As you already, already got some information related to some modal verbs in my previous video, hope this video will give you some hint as you wanted to know about some sentences and you got some ideas through previous video and this video will give you more explanation hope it will be more helpful for you so let's talk about it if i talk about my skill suppose if i say i cannot swim can you swim that means i'm making two words can and cannot so these are all about modal verbs you can make more sentences by using may this is common sentence as you know if you ask or seek permission from your faculty or teachers, you talk like or uh, you speak like, may I come in, sir? It's a polite permission. So you seek permission to talk about it. That means, may I come in, sir? And after that, put a question mark. This is also necessary if you make a sentence like, can I borrow your plane? pen? That means, can I borrow your pencil or pen or marker? So after that, put a question mark. Next sentence is also related to will or would. Suppose if we make a sentence like, will you be able to come tomorrow? So this is all about will. You can make some questions like would. It's like, would you mind opening the window? Another sentence can be related to, uh, I would like to talk about my topic today. So this is also an example of modal verb. And uh, try to make some sentences as I try to tell you every uh, class that your sentences can come in two different ways. Like there will be no hint. So you have to make your sentence perfect by understanding what is your sentence. What is all about? Which one should be appropriate? That means which word should be appropriate for your, uh, what can I say, sentence? Suppose it's all about must. So it's totally, uh, what can I say? It's a very, very great advice. Suppose nowadays it's a, a coronavirus time. So if we make one sentence like, we must stay at home to protect our community and the world as well. So we are making a word, uh, making a sentence by using the word must. Another word, it's also related to modal verb. That means if you might make word like or make sentences like um, we should take care of our family or we should take care of our world. And another sentence is also related to your duty. That means you can make some duties to your parents. So ought to. It's like we ought to respect our parents. So these are all about modal verbs. Hope you got some ideas and try to make some sentences at home. As you know that can, could, uh, will, would, may, might shall, should, must, or sometimes we use have to, like I have to end this video right now. So uh, this is also an example of have to. And if you talk about have not or I don't need to, this is also related to your modal verbs as well. Sometimes you feel like I don't need any question or I don't need to watch this video uh, later on. So these are all about sentences and some examples and the ideas of modal verbs. Hope you watched my previous video on modal verbs. And after watching that, try this video. And after watching two, you will be very, uh, what can I say, uh, energetic. 
to do your homework and assignments as well and get some preparation take some pre uh, preparation for your final exam uh, and it will be like as i already mentioned some words will be there it's like may might can could shall should as i have already mentioned and your fill up the gaps that means fill in the blanks will be there so put appropriate word which word is appropriate for your sentence so make some preparation because the sentence is the uh, main theme the sentence is also telling you which and the what are the important words you need to mention by using appropriate modal verbs and another uh, question can be coming like uh, as i have already mentioned in my previous video like there will be errorful modal verbs it's like the sentences will be using um, we can take uh, some help um, or we can stay at home uh, to uh, what can i say um, not to get infectious or infected by the coronavirus so i think can is not appropriate modal verb so we can use we must stay at home to uh, protect our community and the world as well world as well okay so take care everybody stay at home with all the family members of your life and try practicing all the sentences related to your final exam okay best of luck everybody stay at home and take care